welcome back to Open, everyone. You know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Broxnet TV, and while you're there, tweet me too at Rina Valentin. All right, so since 2006, over 100 artists throughout the U.S. and Puerto Rico have come together to participate in Comité Noviembre's Puerto Rican Artisan Fair and Book Expo. This year's Comité Noviembre is celebrating its 13th anniversary at Hostos Community College, and every year it's filled with tons of art and books for people to shop local for the holidays. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome Luis Coldero, Puerto Rican Artisan Fair and Book Expo author Dalma Llanos Figueroa and artist Felipe Rengel. Hello and welcome. Hey. Hello. Welcome, hey. mi gente. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Comité yeah. Noviembre. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what Comité yeah. Noviembre is first. Sure, I can tell you that uh, gladly. Thank you for having us. First of all, it's nice to see you. Likewise. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, um, yeah Comité <laughs> Noviembre is a nonprofit. It's uh, basically the oldest coalition of the most prestigious Puerto Rican organizations in the tri-state area. They've been around for now 32 years. Uh, and the group includes, I, I'm sorry, I can't name all of them, a speed of New York, uh, El Museo del Barrio, Center for Puerto Rican Studies, Institute for Puerto Rican Hispanic Elderly, um, did I say El Centro? I, I think I, don't I did. Know, but yeah. I, I get that. Well, it's a coalition <laughs> it's of Puerto Rican organizations. Yeah, it's about 12, 12 organizations. It's around so. 12, right? Yeah. So they have to forgive you if they, if yeah. they overlook them. But the idea right. is that they can go on to Comité Noviembre's website and you can learn more right. about the coalition. Yeah. And now they've also expanded into having this uh, artisan fair that's been in existence for 13 years, right. which happens to be, and I wanted to just share this with you people, one of my favorite places to shop every year. And that's that's good. It means we're doing a good job. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. you are. And, Thank you and very let's much. talk about what we yes. have here. And then I'm going to expand further on why it is my favorite okay. place to shop because I can assure you that what you find there, you'll never find somewhere else. Right. That's the beauty of that. Right. I'm one of the artists. I'm also one of the I'm one of the organizers of the event, and also also one of the participating artists. What I do, I'm a graphic artist, so what I like to do is I like to take Puerto Rican icons, Puerto Rican cultural graphics, and put them on T-shirts, for example. So that's what I have here. I have uh, T-shirts with some of the designs that I've taken from Beautiful. our culture. Love. Put color on them, made them a little bit, you know, more modern and stuff. I also do prints. Yeah, for those so, millennials, you know. Yeah. It's like Baino, I love it, I yeah, love it. And Baino. then, of course... And then that's also one of my prints. I'm in the process of learning with Tayel Boricua how to make um, lino okay, well, cut prints right and stuff. Well, right now the shot is on uh, Pedro. Yeah. Um, and so let's talk about Pedro. Oh, it, that's a, a T-shirt featuring the image of Don Pedro Abisu Campos, a uh, nationalist leader. And he's like, when if you're an independentista and you believe that Puerto Rico should be free, this usually is the shirt that you will buy and wear proudly when you go to an event, when you go to a protest. And I, I'm telling you, when, when you have 50 Puerto Ricans in one place, you'll usually find one wearing one of my shirts. Okay, yeah. and so then, of But course, before I go on to okay. that, I wanted to sh give you one of my shirts. Okay. This one, oh, I'm introducing. This is a surprise, but he's yeah, behind it. I, I can't no, no. see the surprise. No, no, I, this, this is one shirt that I'm introducing on Saturday. Oh. And I, I wanted to give you uh, the first one, okay? <laughs> So, I got the first one. Yeah, you get the first I one. I got the first one. All right. So go. look, you saw it here on Open First. All right. Yeah. And it's going to be available on Saturday. And of course, this is Atabe. That's an uh, image of Atabe, the mother of uh, fertility in the Taino religion. Okay, but we're yes. not calling that into the universe. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move okay, on. Then, then I, I can take it back and give you another one. No, no, no. no it's okay. I'm, no. I'm happy. I'm, I'm honored. I'm happy okay. to wear her right. with pride and orgullo. They said Boricua. But that's it. Yes. <laughs> and honoring our mm. symbols, right? There and so go. here we yeah. have uh, one. Or let, let, let's uh, introduce you. Felipe Rangel. Felipe Rangel, artist uh -huh. and uh, obviously uh, craftsman. Uh, right. This is a vigigante. Let's talk about the vigigante. The vigigante Ponce. So, vigigante la boya, pan y cebolla. We need so, to see the uh, whole vigigante. Right? Vigigante mass from Ponce, Puerto Rico is a local celebration celebrated for the past uh, over 150 years in Puerto Rico, that which shows that our art history basically goes back that long. Because Puerto Rico is 500 years old plus. So 
This tradition comes from the, uh, the Carnaval, que se established uh, back in 1857. And uh, when it was initiated, it, it, it just grew. And, and now Do you mind if I touch it? Absolutely. I just wanted to make sure that people could see what you're talking about as yeah. you're talking. And so, uh, so people actually wear this on their faces, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is and correct. So, um, what is the purpose of walk? Uh, I guess dancing around with these images. Yeah. It comes back from the idea of Carnaval, which was actually born in Europe, and uh, throughout the 500 years of uh, this celebration, we have adopted this in Puerto Rico as one of our traditions. I mean, of course, in the Americas we have all kinds of variations of this. So Puerto Rico, in particular, has because Ponce has the color of the coat of arms is black and red. Usually the mass represents those colors and the dots, which is very traditional part of, uh, of the art of mass making. So uh, they have a, an outfit, which they also wear. And when you see these running around in the town of Ponce, uh -huh. they will have a vejiga. That's where the word vejigantes uh -huh. come from, which is uh, uh, an object that uh -huh. is a cow bladder. Right, right, right. And they hit people with that uh, as they walk around. Uh, they, oh, my gosh. That's the so, one thing, right? Yeah, so, like, yeah, don't want to get caught mm, in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is uh, one of the rich celebrations that we have in Puerto Rico. And uh, it's been, you know, like I said, it's, it's a very ancient uh, celebration. Okay, it's, and so these are, uh, are you going to have a, the, okay, so from what I understand, the Vigigantes will have different colors based on the town of Puerto Rico. So are you going to have variations available at oh, the yes. Artisan Fair? Uh, basically, this is one of maybe about 30 pieces that I already produced. Beautiful. Of uh, this size, I have four. Uh, yeah. Nice. And then I have smaller ones. I, I, I also made bigger ones than this one, but those, uh, when I went to Chicago recently, uh, they purchased those up there. Oh my gosh. So, uh, I'm, I'm tempted to put it on, <laughs> but I still have to talk to Danma. Yeah. So, but thank you, <laughs> right. Felipe. Thank you. All for right, so me. we're going to move on over here to uh, the book fair, right? Uh -huh. So, there's also a book fair going on Absolutely. during this artisan fair, and of course, we have renowned author, uh -huh. Danma Llanos Figueroa. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see you. Likewise. Again. Oh okay. my goodness. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about this and uh, you, your books. I mean, as, as quickly as we possibly can because I could talk to you all day long. Okay. I'm going to go very quickly. Um, the Book Expo at Comite Noviembre has a long tradition. Um, it's a, t a time where authors can come out and interact with our readers and share our books. And um, it's a great time for you to come down and find out who the people are behind these books that you see on display. My book, Daughters of the Stone, um, is a book about five generations of afro uh family, of an afro family, told from the point of view of the women. And um, it will be out in paperback soon. And I'm, I'll be very glad to come and talk to any of you who come by. So will you be doing book signing there as well? I will be doing book signing. Yay! Now, the other two books are books that include me, but are not exclusively me. This one is Breaking Ground, which is a collection, an anthology of Puerto Rican writers in New York. It's like 51, right? 51 Puerto Rican. Quite a few. 51, yeah. and I'm one of them, by the way. Very yes, good. Yes, yeah, yes. So I'm so in there are, with her. I'm like, yeah, look at Yeah, co-contributors, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one, Latino Authors and the Muses, is a collection of interviews to find out where our stories come from. Um, many of them from our ancestors, but um, this will be a nice guide. Now, the, um, what I think is fascinating about the Art Expo at Comité Noviembre is that it covers all kinds of um, literature. So there are books for children, there are cookbooks, there are nonfiction and fiction books. So please come down and talk to us and keep us on in mind for your Christmas shopping. Well, I think it's important that we all understand that uh, we are able to uh, generate the, the economy we, internally, and that's the idea. And Absolutely. not only that, not only that, all, everything you're going to experience there is going to be unique. Um, it's, I, I spent so much time at the, the Artisan Fair because, you know, even though it's a place to go shop, it's really an experience. And mm -hmm. so um, I highly recommend it. And it's only one day. 
It's only one That's day. It. And uh, thank you all for coming here oh, on air you. and sharing your yourselves, Absolutely. of yourselves, Absolutely. and of course your work with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you guys, once again, the National Artisan Fair and Books Expo is taking place on Saturday, November 17th, and that's from 12 noon to 7 p.m., so you have all day to come through, and that's happening at Hostos Community College, which is located at 450 Grand Concourse. All right, uh, so go get your shopping on, all right? Shop local, BX. All right, stay tuned. Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.